filmed live in Canada. It's Jim's record party. Are we on? Hello everyone. Welcome to Jim's record party. I'm your host, James. It's so nice to have you with us as today we'll be looking at five albums you do not own. Leading off with number one, what'd I say? 1959, the great Mr. Ray Charles. If what I say, parts one and two, aren't the most recognizable, aren't the greatest R&B soul tunes ever written, I don't know what are. This is not quite a compilation album, not quite a greatest hits album. It's got a bit of both on it, a lot of great tunes on it, Jump Tune, Jumping in the Morning, Tell Me How Do You Feel was co-written by the great Percy Mayfield. What Kind of Man Are You with the great vocal by Miss Marianne Fisher. What, what an excellent, excellent song. Side two, Rock House. David Fathead Newman shows off why he was considered one of the great R&B tenor players ever. Roll With My Baby is Ray Charles doing Amos Milburn. There's nothing else to it. It's Ray Charles doing Amos Milburn and doing it very well. My Bonnie is My Bonnie Lives Over the Ocean with a few variations and Ray gets complete songwriting credit for it. Well done, Ray. The album closes with That's Enough. Ray's response to What Kind of Man Are You? Ray stands up and says... Hey, I'm Ray Charles. That's enough. You know, people ask me all the time, James, is a bootleg an album? And I say, of course it's an album. It's 12 inches across. It's in a cardboard sleeve with a nice picture on it. It has six or seven songs on each side. It spins at 33 and a third revolution per minute, it's, it's an album. This is Stampede by Buffalo Springfield, meant to be the cover of their second album, which had a much more prosaic cover. This is a album of mostly outtakes of tunes we know from 1966 and also live recordings from 1967. The 1966 tunes include things we've heard like Down to the Wire, Do I Have to Come Right Out and Say It, Baby Don't Scold Me. In fact, the original version of Baby Don't Scold Me is on side two. It was pulled from the first album to make room for, for what it's worth. Now we hear the original tune, finally, in its original version. Pay the price, nobody's fooled. Nowadays, Clancy can't even sing. And Rock and Roll Woman, all recorded at Whittier High School in 1967. Excellent live recordings from Buffalo Springfield. The greatest American-Canadian rock band ever? Well, yes along with the band, I'll put them on equal footing. This shows so well what a great rhythm section. Richie Furry, Dewey Martin on drums, and Bruce Palmer on bass were. They gave such a solid footing for Neil and Steve to play over, as the band had such a great rhythm section and Rick Danko and Levon Helm and Garth Hudson, also the luxury of the second keyboard player, Richard Manuel, of course. So Robbie Robertson could do what he wanted to. Ronnie Hawkins could do what he wanted to. And here, Neil and Steve can do what they want, which is be two of the greatest rock guitarists ever. Number three is A Change of Pace. Nathan Milstein and Leon Palmer's 
violin and piano respectively, playing four Italian sonatas. This album again is from 1959, an exquisitely, beautifully sounding album. You are sitting at the feet of a master, late listening to Nathan Milstein play here. Born in 1902 in Odessa, Ukraine. He does not show off. He gives no indication that you're sitting there looking up in awe, your jaw on the ground, your eyes wide open as you listen to this, this beautiful playing from both of these men. If this had been released under both of their names as a duo album, that no one would have thought anything of it. This is a, a beautiful, beautiful example of support and listening to each other and playing the music together. And a master class that guitarists of all strains should listen to for lessons in melody and grace, in lightness, in phrasing, in rhythmic vivacity, in lightness of touch. Tartini, The Devil's Trill, Vivaldi, Sonati, and A Major, Opus 2, Number 2. Side 2 has Arcangelo Corelli's La Folia, Opus 5, Number 12, in D Major, a simple tune taken apparently from Spain originally, a theme and variations over a constant bass figure. This is a fantastic, serious song, followed by Geminiani's Sonata in A Major, Opus 4, Number 10. A beautiful tune, again, great rhythm in this tune. We know Geminiani mostly from his great Concerto Grosso, of course, but this is the same Geminiani in a beautiful, much lighter presentation. A sonata played in as a duo. When I listen to this album, I have, I have absolutely no doubt that I'm listening to and no doubt in proclaiming Nathan Milstein as the greatest violinist of the 20th century. Let's lighten it up. The Big Swingers, Billy Maxted, Jack Nicholas. Not quite a duo album. We never actually hear Jack Nicholas on this album. Unfortunately, we never actually hear his great driver or his great one iron. I would have really loved to have heard him pull out that one iron and take a few swings, knock a few drinks around, but was not to be. He's instead sitting there as Billy and his band play Beautiful Dixieland inspired and Dixie tunes. This is a beautiful album that had it been released with with a a more serious traditional Dixieland band cover. This is not strictly trad. This is this is Dixie influenced swing, I would say, more so. Very beautifully played, beautifully recorded as well. And Jack appears only as in his namesake tune, The Golden Bear. And um, from 1963, this tune, also a nice version of Alley Cat, Savoy Blues on this. It's nicely recorded. It's uh, the, the, the craziness of the cover belies the great music within. This is a fun album and obviously a 100% fun cover. Finally, Goddess of Fortune. I didn't know what this album was when I first saw it. I came to know it as the first reissue of the Radha Krishna Temple album, originally released on Apple Records in May of 1971 an album with which I was not familiar. 
This is a album of devotion, of prayer, of joy, recorded by devotees from the Radha Krishna Temple at Trident and EMI Studios in London. Produced by George Harrison. Played on by George Harrison. Harmonium, electric guitar, occasionally through a Leslie. Electric bass and dobro. Never at any time is this a show-off album, a look at me, I'm George Harrison, look what I'm doing album. When you hear it, especially the lead-off tune Govinda, which was a, a hit, which was actually a hit in England, in South Africa, in Germany and elsewhere. Excellent, excellent tune. Again, a tune like the um, tune that appears on the Milstein album, a tune that builds and draws you in, and uh, a beautiful tune, as all of these tunes are. Almost all, if not all, with the most beautiful female vocal. This is a, not a dusty, shabby album. This is a beautiful album, beautifully recorded, beautifully, beautifully, lightly, lovingly produced album that is a perfect Sunday morning, Tuesday afternoon, anytime you feel the need to nurture the most important important part of you, your soul. This is an album to listen to. Well, everyone, this brings us to this end of this side of Jim's Record Party. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I really did. I'm your host, James. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and join me again next time on this same station as we look at more great records here on Jim's Record Party.